Hey YouTube tubers, it's Gizzy Greenfingers and what you were looking at is my weeping willow without any wires on whatsoever. That's right, it's got no wires on whatsoever. And I've got a lot of wiring to do. I've got a week off and like I said, I've done a video of this when it after it's been wired and it took me seven hours to wire this. And if you want to watch how I've how I've done this, then please stay tuned and we will see just how I've made this award winning tree come to life. If I do say so myself. So the first wire is always the worst because you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, I've got like another 200 to go. I don't know how many I've got. I had a lot, seven hours worth. But it's where do where do where do you start? That's 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 what I'm trying to get at. Where do you start? I was thinking, hmm, well, maybe start from the the inside first and work your way out. And that's what I was thinking. And I can't remember if that's what I'd done. Did. Did it. But alas, it doesn't really matter where you start wiring because it's all getting effing wired. Um, the reason I, I thought about it is because I guess if you start from the inside and work your way out, you're not going to get tangled up in the wires that you've wired at the front of the tree. If you get, do you get what I mean? But I've got a 3D, 3D. I've got a 3D thing going on with this tree. So there are wires coming out of every orifice and it will be a wiry mess. But it's getting them first wires in just to see where you're at. And then you can start to see a picture form in your head of where the next one needs to go and so on and so on. So, you see that while I'm tugging on? Yeah, well he'll he be getting wired next. And that's part of the 3D situation we got going on. But the trouble with the 3D situation is um, light. It's going to be a light issue. Now if you've got all these other branches and all these other leaves, in the middle you're going to have some that aren't getting sufficient light to to flourish do you know what I mean it won't flourish the, the leaves will start going yellow and then the branch will just start dying off so it's trying to spread out and thin out in between all the branches so it looks it looks good and let's get all the branches getting enough light it is like three years I've been working on this. I've been wiring this specimen for three effing years. And it's only now starting to take shape. If I do say so myself. And when I say award winning, I mean this, this will win awards. You've got to big yourself up. Because no, no, no other fucker will. So you've got to big yourself up and think, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, fuck you, Nigel. Fuck you, Peter. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know some bonds. All of them. Do you know what I mean? I'll do it my way. It's my way or the highway. I ain't got a scooby-doo of what I'm doing, but it looks good. It's like Slash. I've said this before. I have said this. I'm repeating myself. It's like Slash. He, he never knew how to read music. But his guitar playing skills were phenomenal. I'm not saying my bonsai skills are phenomenal, but I'm saying I ain't got a Scooby-Doo, but what I'm doing is working so far. And that's all. And I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. You've just got to enjoy it, haven't you? It's a hobby. That's why it's called a hobby. Because you enjoy it. 
So, anyway, this is what I'm wearing at the moment, and this is the top. This is my new top that I started this no, last year, and the way this got bent, it was contorted in like a 90 degree angle, which I swear I heard it even snap. But for doing so, it looks bloody awesome. It's got a lovely kink in it. Which it's a it's a curly willow. I had one one watcher say, yeah, "Yes, but it's it's a weeping willow, and all the branches go naturally, and all all the crap that goes with that." I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. What are you getting at? <laughs> yeah, it's a curly willow, exactly. So it takes even more skill to make a curly willow do what I'm doing. You think? C U N T. Anywho, let's commence. So, this is a new top, and I'm going to be getting... There we go. There we go. Just do some zooming in. Look at that. It looks really good in the light. Yes, my my lighting in this room does not give it much justice. But if you have been following my channel on this tree, then you know all about where it's come from. Little cutting three years ago, and that's our next branch. We want that for 3D effect. Do you see that? 3D. Isn't that right, Chase? 3D. He knows it. Bless him. Right. Yeah, and then all them will be getting wired. It's just, where do you start when you see so many branches just all skew if? All right, they've got some sort of bend in from the previous year, two years. I've been bending those Pacific branches, but you look at it and you're like, oh, where do you start? Look, look at that bend. Do you see that? It was a 90 degree bend to get that top on there. Look at that. It just looks awesome. I don't like to beat my own trumpet, but I think it looks good. And if you think it looks good, Gizzy, then it looks good. And that's all that matters. You enjoying it? Yeah, I am. This is my little project. But that branch there, you see him, he coming off. He coming off right there to keep that bend going on. You see? You see it? Do you get me? So you just get your snips. I like to use wire snips. And then you want to get as close as you can to the bit and pow, me off. And that's that. That is that. And then... That doesn't even really need much bending. Oh, it's all about clip and grow. <laughs> clip and grow. That was a clip and grow, that one, wasn't it? Oh, bless. Clip and grow. Anywho, we need to wire that other branch that I just pointed at. So I'm using a two millimetre for this. Most of these branches I have been using a two millimetre wire for the stage that they are at I think I used a no, I, no I'm I'm telling a lie it was a 1.5 millimeter wire I have been using for most of this branching two millimeter on some of them but mostly a 1.5 millimeter wire for the stage where we're at now I'm wiring this quite gently and not so Not so, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm just wiring it gently so it doesn't dig right into it because it is a new shoot and it's got it's still got a fair bit of growing to do this year because we're in September, October, but it is getting colder. It is getting colder. I'm hoping all these wires that I've wired on today during this this episode... I'm not going to need to remove them for this year. But, alas, this is a weeping willow. And if you've been watching my channel, I've done all this in three years from a cutting. So, it is fast growing. But I'm hoping that what does grow, it'll grow into that wire without biting in and keep its shape over the winter. 
So then when I've removed the wires in the spring, it will retain the shape. And then that's when you take your pictures and your videos of when it's got no wires and it just looks fucking epic. Trust me. Now on this tree, I use an aluminium wire with a copper finish. Because with with a corkscrew willow, weeping willow, um, I just think it it blends more in with the bark of this actual Pacific species of tree. So that is why I use the aluminium wire with a copper finish. It's just a just just my preference of how I like it to look. I think it's doing a okay at the moment. No idea. Now, I think we'll just hop on a little so this doesn't drag on to um, the next stage or next next vision. So, there we are, the next vision. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape with the wiring. But, alas, you need to wire certain branches before you wire the top branches, just so you can see how they all cascade down in perfect harmony. So this is where we're at at this stage. I cannot remember what hour we're in, but the tree is starting to take shape again of how I want all the branches to look. Now I'm going to be worried during the winter because I have got a lot of smaller branches and a frost is a big, a big concern with this species, this tree. I lose a lot of branches through the winter. So this year I am thinking you can get them like cloaks that you cover the whole tree with in the greenhouse. That That is one, one thing I may do. I think I might get some cloak. Look at that. That just looks up and great. Look at it. You've done it again, Gizzy. Look, 3D. 3D. Look at it. But yeah, that... It's been a fair few hours of wiring to try to get that shape back again. And that's our new top for that that section. And I've got two more two more tops that I'm starting on the other bit of the other side of the tree. But yeah, I'm liking how this is starting to look. In fact, I'm loving how this is starting to look. It's looking even better than my vision looked. Um, if I do say so myself. But obviously, answers on a postcard, please, if you like this tree. Like I said, just like the video. It just helps with algorithms. It just keeps me, keeps me interested in doing more videos. So they get they get views, hopefully. So this is the other part of the top I was talking about. It's still young, but it's pliable enough to wire gently. It will be getting a gentle wire. But yeah, so I sort of want that so it's working symmetrically with the other side. So it will cascades with the tree and just looks natural. Now I am going to use a two millimeter wire for this this procedure. Now I know what you're thinking. Fuck me, Gizzy! From that angle, that tree looks bloody award winning. That's what I think, anyway. Take away the wires, give it another year or two, and yeah. As long, as long as if all these branches survive, which I am very worried. I'm not going to lie, I am very worried. I lost two big branches beginning this year because of, because of the cold. We had temperatures of minus 10. It was in the greenhouse, but I still lost two branches. Um, so yeah, I am... Quite concerned with when you've put so many hours into such a tree that you may lose two huge branches or something and it just lose, loses a whole 
aesthetics, aesthetics of the actual tree. Do you know what I mean? But hopefully, hopefully that won't happen. Or if it does, it won't be too many branches or it'll be smaller ones. That's why I like to use a lot of branches when I when I'm making this creation for thinking, mm, what if that branch dies? All right, you've got a backup. So when you're looking at this and you're thinking, oh yeah, I wouldn't have that branch here. Oh, I wouldn't have too many there. Well, they're backups for just in case. So after seven hours, I think we are there. Yeah, it's a passion of love. And if you want an award-winning curly willow, then I'm making weep. That's why I call it a weeping willow. Then you need to pull the hours in, I'm afraid. And all the wires. Yeah, I've probably spent a few hundred quid on wire just for this one tree. And like I said, I enjoy, I enjoy it. I enjoy looking at it progress through every year. And it progresses so much. But um, I said, I guess you're going to have to tell me. Yeah, it looks great, Gizzy. You, you're on the road to to nowhere. You're on the road. Oh, I can't remember that song, guys. You're on the road to nowhere. Anyway, all joking aside, we've not finished. There's a big branch that I ain't happy about. Because as this is growing, I don't like that branch. Not that one. I'm just showing the 3D effect. But it's that one right in front of you. In. I don't like that. I don't like how that's growing. I don't know how it is. So I put my fingers there and think, what if that wasn't there? So if that wasn't there, oh my bloody God, that would look 10 times better. So he'd be coming out. And I use wire cutters and I just get like that and go pow. And the dirt is gone. And then what I do is I just give it a little bit of dab. And then, ah, what's that bloody cut paste? Cut paste. <laughs> That's so racist, me. So sorry. Um, cut paste. And there we look. Look at that. And then we've got that bit going on. Yeah. Am I thinking of wiring that or am I getting rid of that? I can't remember. Let's let's stick around and see what I do. I think I'm gonna be wiring that. Yeah, look at yeah. Yeah that It looks like it needs to be in that position, that that branch. For the three D effect, obviously. Now this tree did suffer a, a drought in June. And it suffered a drought last year. It probably suffered a drought the year before. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It's only suffering the drought now because I got it in such a small pot that I've not worked out how to change it, which obviously I know how to change it. i just not got round to doing it. But now I've put so many years into this tree now, I'm starting to think, hmm... I've got a plastic training pot that is bigger than this pot that it's in, but it's not ceramic. It, it won't look as good or sexy, but it's for the good of the tree, I think. I think next spring it may be going in a bigger pot just for the good of the tree, because I, I, some days it needs, like for, it needs watering three times in the day. On a hot day, do you know what I mean? And if you're working, you can only water it two times. So you get home and it's you've got you can put your finger between the edge of the pot and the soil, the root mass. You put your finger right through, so it loses like a centimetre. That's how much it shrivels up in that pot that it just dries out, and that's what causes the drought. And it loses all its leaves, and then it starts again. Sometimes it's been beneficial because it has helped me in the past. But I don't want to stress it out so much now, because the more stress it is, stressed out it is, 
the more chance you may lose bigger branches. And looking at it now, it's starting to look a picture. If you if you think it does, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we will see you next time.